This is how you can make a message link identifier system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start off by going over to our code and we can go into the index.js or wherever you can have a client.on event in your handler. Now keep in mind, this is going to be auto turned on for the bot by default. If you would like to use a command and a schema to set up a true or false statement to disable it per server, you can go ahead and set that up. For me, I'm not going to bother with that because it's just going to be on by default for every guild that the bot is in. So we can start off by doing client.on and we're going to get events.message create and we can go ahead and get our message and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to start by saying if message.guild or no message guild, we can go ahead and return and then we can say if message.author.bot, we can also go ahead and return. So these are basically filtering out some events that could be happening within the message that we do not want to happen, like if there's no guild, so the bot is in the DMs, or if the person sending the message link is a bot, we just want to completely ignore those messages. Next, we can do if, and we can do message.content.match. And so in here, we're actually going to go ahead and put the regex in here. So just go ahead and write this in. This is going to be the regex we're using for this. And this is to identify if the message content is a message link. So then we can actually go ahead and open this up. And we're just going to go ahead and start off with a try here. We're going to do const and we can get an array. We're going to do a comma. We can get our channel ID and we can get our message ID. And then we can do equals message.content.match. And we're going to go ahead and put in that regex, the exact same regex we got before. So next we can go ahead and do a const direct message equals, and we can do a wait message.channel.messages.fetch. We're going to go ahead and get our message ID. So then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and write in our embed because we have all of the information we need so far. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and start off by setting a color. I'm going to go ahead and make this a blurple. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and set an auth and we're going to get our name. For me, this is going to be a direct message to author dot username, and we can get our icon URL, which is going to be our direct message dot author dot avatar URL. So then after we go ahead and set all of that up, we can actually go ahead and set a description, and we're going to go ahead and do direct message dot content. So basically, we've gotten our author and the author icon URL, and now we have that message link content. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to send this embed with the author and the message content. So we're basically getting the message link and we're taking that message link content and we're sending it so that the member doesn't actually have to click the message link to find the message. They can stay within the conversation. Then we can do const button equals new action row builder. And we can go ahead and do dot add components. We're going to get new button builder. We can go ahead and start off by setting a label. And this is going to be a view message. And then we can go ahead and set a URL. And this is going to be message.content. And finally, we can go ahead and set a style. This is going to be button style dot link. After we do that, we can actually go ahead and send this. So we can do await message dot reply. And we can go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to go ahead and get our embed and we can do our components and that is going to be our button just like that. So the final thing that we actually have to do is we're going to go ahead and catch an error here and we're going to go ahead and return and we're also going to go ahead and console.log our error just so that the developer can get that error. So then after we finish that, I'm just going to go ahead and say else and we're just going to return and do nothing if the message content does not match this regex. So before we actually go ahead and test this out, there is one thing that is important to note about this code. So if you use the the message.content.match with the regex here for the original logical statement, then you're only going to get this try if the only thing in the message content is the message link. So what I mean by that is if I were to send a message link here, this message link is going to be the only thing within the message content. But if I were to send a message link within other parts of a message like this, as you can see, there's other parts of that content. So the system will not work. So if you want it to work like this and you only want uh, it to reply, when it's only a message link being sent, just keep the code like this. However, I am going to show you how to do it so that if there's other things within that message, it's still going to reply if there is a valid message link. All you have to do is just go ahead and replace this logical statement right here. You're going to say message.content.includes, and you can go ahead and do HTTPS. We can go ahead and get our discord.com slash channels, and that's actually all we have to do there. So then the next thing we're going to do is const regex up here, and we're going to set that equal to the regex pattern that we set down there with the message.content.match. And then all you have to do is put that regex variable 
variable here as well. So then the last thing that we have to do is in here, we're just going to go ahead and do regex and we can get zero. So after making that change, this code will work if you go ahead and send other content other than a message link within that message content. So it's up to you whether or not you want to keep the code as the original version where it only replies if the message content only contains the message link, or you could go ahead and change it to this where it's going to reply no matter what, as long as the message content contains a valid message link. So after doing that, we are actually done with this entire system here. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so we're gonna start off by just scrolling up a little bit and we can go ahead and find a message that I sent up here. So we can just go ahead and do this. Now this was a message sent a long time ago. We're just gonna go ahead and send it in the channel here. So as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and reply to that message link, and it's gonna go ahead and give me the message content. If we actually go ahead and jump to the message, it's gonna bring me to that message, and the message content is KJ. Now if we go back down here, as you can see, that's the message content, and it's also gonna give me the message author, which is the same person up here as well. We can go ahead and try this again by sending it one more message link, and as you can see here, this time we have a different author, and it's gonna be, this is cool for the message content. Now, if we actually go ahead and click on this, it's going to go ahead and bring us up here. Now, the reason why this is so cool is because let's say you're having a conversation and somebody sends a message link and you don't actually want to have to go all the way up to it, read it, and then come back down here. It's actually going to give you all of the information right here within this embed. So you can just read it and move on with the conversation without having to go up and try to find it. Now, one other thing I should mention is if we try to use a message link from a different channel, as you can see, it's not going to work because it cannot fetch messages from the guild. It can only fetch messages from one channel. Now, another thing, if we try to use one that has an embed in it, we can go ahead and send it. It's just not going to do anything as well because it can't get embeds. I don't think it will work for images either. As you can see, it's not going to go ahead and send that image either. But one thing to note is it doesn't actually crash the bot if it doesn't actually go ahead and send here. The code catches the error and moves on. So as you can see, I haven't restarted the bot or anything. I went ahead and sent three of these and none of them worked. But if we actually go in and send a valid message link, as you can see this time, it's going to go ahead and embed it and it's going to work properly. So that's just the error handling system for those messages that are not supported within this bot. So that's how you can make an advanced message link information command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.